Peace. This is Monroe Jr. I'll be giving my commentary right after this video. Peace. All right, y'all. We out here in Atlanta, Georgia. And today is a special day today. Uh, I'm going to be proposing to the love of my life today. Been, with, been in love with her ever since. She has no idea I'm in Atlanta right now. And her mom, I flew her out. She has no idea her mom's in Atlanta too. So she gonna be super surprised when she see her family, her friends, and everybody at this event tonight. So I'm super excited about that. The way we set it up is gonna be a surprise going away party. Uh, we're gonna blindfold her, she's gonna come in, she's gonna see her family, and then I'm gonna drop down on that knee and then, you know, give that card away. So, you know, I'm excited. Surprise party turned into a proposal party. Hey man, we getting ready. She about to pull up. We gotta make it happen, man. We just gotta find out what's about to happen, you know? You nervous? Uh, I'm never nervous. I'm always ready. Now I'm nervous. Yeah. Right. Five shots after the love out here for everybody. Surprise! Yes! My First is the love that you have for me. It is an unconditional love, and I appreciate it so much. Right, go ahead, go ahead, bro. You are truly the most dependable person I know. There's a definition of ride it down in the dictionary, a picture of you would be an example next to it, even though you get on my freaking nerves. <laughs> Just like I know how I get on your nerves, I know at the end of the day, we're gonna be there for each other. We are mirrors of each other. We are two halves yearning to become whole again. I want to start the process to become whole again. So with that being said, Kiara Williams, will you marry me? Yes, she will. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. Yo, salute to this brother for going ahead and proposing to his soon to be hopefully wife. And, uh, you know, I hope everything works out uh, for them in their life journey. Y'all heard what I said? Life journey. You know, marriage has its ups and downs like anything in life. But, you know, the, the beauty is when you overcome those trials and you see each other like, wow. We've been through this, we've been through that, and by God's grace, we overcame it. And that builds a stronger bond. So, you know, I, I, I hope that uh, everything works out for the brother and sister. I love to see black love. 
black marriage. I love, to, you know, I just love to see marriage in general and, and, and men taking the responsibility instead of uh, taking on responsibility legally instead of, you know, just shacking with women and women just allowing men to shack with them. Sisters, you are valuable. There is no amount of materialism. There is no amount of wealth. There is nothing that we as men can purchase you that can out gain your value. You are so valuable that you know you are a co-creator with God. He uses your womb as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches us as the workshop or the laboratory of God. Meaning that anything that humanity needs there will be a child that will come from the womb of a woman that will that will give rise to that need if there's somebody if there's a disease that is afflicting humanity there's a child that's born to come up with the solution for that cure right for that disease so women you are so valuable and you should get as much knowledge as you can sisters because a, a educated woman is a plus to society right a foolish woman is a negative to society because sister you are the first teacher the first trainer the first educator usually you at when the children are young you spend the most time with them while the man if we are in our proper nature we're going out trying to provide and maintain for you so i i hope that everything works out with this brothers and uh, brother and sister i just love to see us um, accepting the responsibility to go on life's journey with one another and it's really a beautiful thing because it's something that the institution of marriage is something that our creator set up you can't have a strong community a strong society without strong marriages so that's you know it, hey man we're all born to be married now wh whether we grow uh into our uh higher god and female god nature then that's on us but we have to be possessors of knowledge we have to learn about ourselves our roles uh as men and women so that we can better serve one another meaning we have to wherever that's being taught we have to go get that training i can tell you in the nation of islam men we get taught how to uh, be protectors, how to be maintainers, how to be spiritual guides in our household. Uh, women get taught um, how to cook, how to sew, um, how to rear their children, how to act at home and abroad. They have units. So, I mean, at, we as black men and women, because we've been through 400 years of slavery, we need a we need training. You know, we need to be re-educated on a lot of things. Because a lot of things we've been doing have been handed down generation uh, to generation, uh, dating all the way back to the plantation. So, and that's why the divorce rate is so high in our community. I think it's like 70 some percent for black people, uh, which is not good. So we have to work to correct this. But at the same time, we can't stop getting married uh, out of fear. No, we just got to get the knowledge uh, and wisdom on how to handle things. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.